Frustrating win today, and what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, it's a frustrating defeat for us, yeah. We, we um, thought first half they were better than us, um, and to be fair, they, they had a couple of really good chances. Josh has done great. Second half, felt we were a better team, we was on top, um, we hit the bar, we've had a couple of chances to get in front, um, and unfortunately, it took them again, and it's and it's and then we've got punished with like a ricochet that's ended up with lads' feet, edge of the box, good finish, and then second goal took deflection. So we, we're a bit, bit, you know, a bit fragile in there because that's how, that's how we are at the moment. Um, but you, you know, you've got to find a way of winning football matches. And, and last year we had loads of games like that where we come out on top. And it, when you when you are up the top, winning winning games regularly, you, it's a no hell. And at the moment we, we're struggling doing that. Um, you know, so we, we need to one game we keep saying it. You know, we said to the boys, listen, it's, it's, it's not we can hide the fact of fighting. I think we are in a relegation battle. We need to get some points on the board lively. Um, that's six league games now without a win. We're two, going to two points that time. Um, as our play deserved more, probably yes, but the proof's in the pudding. You've got to make sure you get results, and we're not doing that. So we, we need to take Enfield now, becomes another massive game for us. Um, and we just need to try somehow to get a win, win a game of football. Because um, I felt like coming in, you know, because I felt when they scored their first goal, we was well on top. We've had 15, 20 minutes where we've actually pummeled them a little bit. Um, but they, we've, we've, held, we've, we've stood it and, and, and then come back stronger and, and got the two goals. So we've got to find a way of getting get the result. Yeah, do you think the time of the two goals, they came in quick succession with a real sucker punch to you? Yeah, you do, um, yeah of course, any time you can see it. I mean, we're, at the moment, we, it's been like all season that we, we are very vulnerable defensively as a team. And uh, that's not the not just the back four and the goalkeeper, that's the team. Um, you know, we, we've got to find a way of getting over that. We, you know, I mean, we're not feeling sorry for ourselves. We, we know it's the old cliche: it's one game at a time. We, ne we need now um, for Wednesday to, to be big and strong. Um, you know, because one win turns things around. And, and uh, as I say, play-wise, we're eight million miles away. But it's no good us talking about week and well, we're unlucky, unlucky, and we keep getting beat because that's, that's rubbish. It's not what it's about. So we need quickly to get all our players back if we can. Um, and we need to try and get another result quickly. Um, Joe Keane was uh, back in centre back today, he's played there a couple of times for you. What's the latest of um, Andy Pearson? Who can't yeah, and he's obviously got a slight uh, glute in a uh, hamstring injury last week. Um, we're assessing him now. We assessed him for a day and we just didn't want to take a chance for him because we don't lose him for a month. Um, but we, we'll speak to him to get treatment Monday and Tuesday and then hopefully be available for Wednesday. Um, you know, because we don't play Joe at centre half. Joe's, Joe's our leader in the middle of the park. Um, and we've missed him. You know, he, he went on holiday, um, which is obviously very frustrating for me because um, we really missed him. You know, and, and we want to get him back in his best position because um, I feel when we have our full eleven out, we're a decent side. But you know, like I say, it's, it is now. It, it's, it's a season where we need to get ten points, ten, twelve points with fifteen games to go. And but mainly, we need to get a win quickly because we need to stop this rot. Um, Jack Rohurst came on today for his home debut. You also signed Curtis Gaylor recently. Are these players going to give you a bit of? Depth going into the end of the season. Yeah, listen, they're young lads, and we can't, we, you know, we can't rely heavily on them. I'm, I'm sure they're both good players, and they both will pitch in with a bit, of, a bit of time on the pitch and what have you. Um, but they're lads who, who you know, we, we can't expect them to come in and, and turn things around. They're new to this league. Um, you know, it's the senior players and the lads who've been around a long time. You know, we, we've now, we, we just said, it's not, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. We need to regroup as together. And uh, we need to look to, as I say, to Wednesday, um, and and the whole whole lot of us. You know, when we lose, we all feel it. When we win, we all, you know, we, we need to get win and lose. We need to get them. We need now to, I say before Wednesday, we need to find a way get a team out that we feel can win a foot match on Wednesday. And if we have to make one or two changes and a couple left out, um, that happen. And you know, and without being horrible, if people are like that, I don't care. It's, you know, they don't like it. Unlucky. That's what it's going to be because we need now to get a team to get a result on Wednesday and I'll be doing the best I can to put a side out that I think can get a result at Anfield.